In this video, we are talking about the three shoes that I'm most looking forward to in 2022. Welcome back to 40 Runs, everybody. Now, how are we doing? Are we looking forward to 2022? Let me know in the comments and while you're down there, tell me which shoe are you most looking forward to in 2022? So 2021, we mostly saw upper updates. I think that was the biggest theme across running shoes in 2021 was it was like an evolution of what they'd done before. Don't get me wrong, there were some epic, epic shoes in 2021, but I'm, I'm really hopeful in 2022 we're going to be taking the next step. And I think the, the shoe manufacturers are going to be chucking, you know, more stack, more foam, more carbon plates and, and newly designed uppers. And I think you know, carving out sort of mini niches within niches is going to be where it's going to be at in 2022. Now, I've got three shoes. Actually, I might do four, but three shoes that I'm super excited about. Uh, and they kind of cover most of the stuff that I'm interested in. So we've got like a trail shoe, we've got an everyday shoe, we've got like an up-tempo shoe um, that I want to talk about today. But I said, like I said at the start, let me know what shoes you're most looking forward to in 2022. So the first shoe I'm most looking forward to is the Saucony Endorphin Pro 3. Now, actually, I've got to give a mad shout out, and I'm gonna I'm gonna look at this to get it right. It is Alex Fility, right? Alex Fility, and I'm gonna put the, the uh, Instagram handle on it. Um, he's also got a YouTube channel and TFX Shoes, and he he's also got um, a YouTube channel, and I'm gonna link them both in the description. But both of these guys, follow them on, on Instagram if you're massively into running shoes. Um, Alex Fility, apologies Alex, and TFX Shoes. Um, so both have got YouTube channels, but I put the handles up. Follow both of those on YouTube, because the pictures I've got and the stuff that I've got today are from those guys. Uh, and massive love to those, both of those channels, both of those Instagram, make sure you follow them. And, and mad love, I say, for, um, for uh, the pictures and stuff that you put out in terms of sneaks and uh, leaks and things like that. But anyway, the Pro 3 from Saucony in the Endorphin line just looks amazing. So if you see from the picture, there's actually the Pro, the Shift, and the Speed uh, 3. The shift we've done a video about in terms of the shift two, and I think um, the comments said it all in terms of that shoe and what we're looking for. Um, and the new one looks great. Hopefully they do move it towards something that we want, which is a little bit more of an up-tempo shoe. But I think the speed is gonna be another epic shoe and it's gonna probably continue along that path. But the Pro just looks amazing. It looks like they've increased the stack a little bit. The Pro for me, I think is one of the most undervalued shoes out there. Um, I love my Pros. I did my half marathon PB in them, version one. Uh, Pro 2 was okay, there wasn't a hell of a lot of difference, I would say. But Pro 3, from the pictures I've seen, it just looks like it's got a little bit more stack and a little bit more roll in it. And I think it will be that nice blend where the speed's quite soft into that sort of marathon running shoe. Um, that will just, you know, that you can wear, that it goes, you know, on the marathon distance I'm talking about, that pushes you towards that sort of A6 meta, uh, meta speed sky area. Um, so give you some stability and some, some consistency over the marathon distance, but it's not too soft like a vapor ply or anything like um, that, which will give you problems in terms of your pronation. So I'm super excited about the Pro 3. Next up is the Brooks Hyperion Tempo. Now I was hoping that they would launch this in 2021. The Hyperion Tempo I think is one of the, again, most undervalued uh, daily trainers, up-tempo daily trainer shoes out there. It's a great combination with that DNA Flash midsole, upper. It's just a great looking shoe. It, it's pretty basic, which you get from Brooks, Brooks. <laughs> but it's, um, it's a great combo. It's a really, really powerful shoe. I think it's a it's a great shoe if you're if the Rebel Two, for example, is that a little bit too soft. The Brooks Hyperion Tempo is a is a great, great shoe, and I can't wait to see what they do with it um, in 2022. It looks like it's going to be great. Um, it, there's there's some other stuff. They look like they might be chucking a plate in a version of it and this kind of thing, but for me, I'm looking for an unplated um, up tempo daily trainer. So think along the lines of the Rebel Two. Um, so I'm excited about what the Hyperion Tempo 2 looks like in 2022. Actually staying along those lines, uh, it wasn't sure I was gonna add, but it's the Mac uh, Supersonic, which is like a, uh, looks like a Mac 4 Evolution. 
again, the same long, uh, along the same lines as the Hi uh, Brooks Hyperion Tempo, it's that up-tempo daily trainer that can do most things. It's a non-plated shoe, so people who don't like a plate, I think it's a great, great, great shoe. And it looks like they've made some um, changes to the Profly midsole on the um, Supersonic, so I can't wait to see what that one is like as well. So next up is a trail shoe, the Speed Goat 5. Now, if you didn't see the Snowden video, uh, Toby ran up and down Mount Snowden in an hour and 48 minutes in a pair of Hoka Speed Goat 4s. I was well gel. Now, I've got a pair of Speed Goat 4s, but they were a little bit narrow. So I'm hoping that the Speed Goat 5 is a little bit wider and I can get away with them. That's not to say I don't love my Asics Jabruco Max. It's just, a, it's just the fact that I have major FOMO from um, Toby and Allen's Speedgoats. So I really can't wait to see what the Speedgoat 5 um, comes out like. It looks a little bit more streamlined. They've changed a few things, bits and bobs on it um, from the picture. But yeah, Speedgoat 5 is definitely on my list in 2022. And the last shoe I'm looking forward to is the Nike Pegasus 39 Pro. Mainly because I want to see what they're going to do with it. Um, I know Nike are trying to expand the Pegasus line. We had the Turbo years ago, which was, as we've said a million times on this channel, it's just an epic, epic shoe. And I can't wait to see what they do with the Pro. Now, whether that goes, slots into that sort of Hyperion Tempo, Mac 4, Rebel 2 arena. Um, it's, a, it's a bridge between, I don't know, the, the Pegasus and the Zoom 4. I don't know. I, I can't wait to see what they do. It, it was rumoured to come out at the end of 2021, but it looks like it's going to be in 2022 now. Whether they chuck some Zoom X in there or whatever they do, I can't wait to see what the Pegasus 39 Pro looks like. So that's it. They're the shoes at the start of the year that I'm most looking forward to. There is going to be loads and loads and loads of shoes. And I'm hoping, as I say, they don't do what they've been doing, which is just upgrade the uppers. Uh, I'm interested to see what Nike do with the Tempo Next Percent. Um, I can't wait to see what the Asics Metaspeed Sky version 2 comes out as. Uh, I think they would have learned a lot from that. Also, apparently the Nova Blast 3 is meant to be a, a bit of a change. Let's see what they do with Asics along that line. Obviously the Saucony Dolphin line, it looks like Saucony have got some new shoes in the lineup coming as well. I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, it may confuse people. Uh, Reebok look like they've got some plated monster coming out. I really hope Adidas um, makes something that works for me in 2022. Uh, what else, what else, what else, New Balance, yeah, they'll just carry on doing what they do, uh, Rebel 3, and, and um, I really hope they update the Fuel Cell TC, that's the one that kind of, um, well, just sort of lost its way a little bit in 2021, because they didn't update it or do anything with it, uh, and um, uh, and the other one is the um, Prism, that's what I wanted to say, the Prism, hopefully they bring that back to what it should be, so yeah, loads to come out in 2022, uh, it's going to be an amazing year for us running shoe geeks, uh, but most importantly, let me know in the comments what shoe you're most looking forward to in 2022, and I'll catch you guys later.